Welcome back everyone. So today I want to announce the release of a new workflow pack, Soda SDXL. There's only six workflows in the pack, so it's a humble offering to begin. But version one will contain almost everything you need to do to get started. And we'll be building on these adding lines only versions. So this is using the KJ nodes, easy nodes. It's always fun to introduce something which we don't normally do. So first of all, before we get into the workflow, um, DJ Z nodes has been updated with new prompt captions. We've got a whole bunch of stuff for an upcoming video. So be sure to keep your DJ Z nodes up to date. It's also a good idea to hit a git pull. I might include a batch file in the next version of DJ Z workflows. That way you can just double click and do your git pull easily. Anyway, so the first workflow. This one is the uh, this one is auto basic, okay? SDXL auto basic. So as you can see, it's using Easy Notes. It's pretty simple. Auto is our old automatic prompt system. So you put in a reasonably what you want. You put in a prompt here. It'll throw it through magic prompt, one button super prompt, and auto negative. I've added an I've added some some of these already myself. You can tweak a few of the settings here and then it will give you what it's actually using shown here in the print the text. And you got obviously you've got your seed. We're going to be using the same prompt, same seed, same model for all of these. Uh, so the main differences that you'll see in the images are from a different prompt method or whether or not it has uh, IP adapter or control net. So as you can see, it's making some cool images. These aren't the best sampler settings. All right. But that's not the point. The point is you you will already have your favorite settings, so you just fill them in. Uh, future versions are going to include my favorite settings, but as we say, we've got to start the pack somewhere. So up top, we've got the model. You can use any XD, SDXL model. I'm going to be using my Cos Real Jugs XL, which you can find out how to make in a tutorial on uh, model merging. <laughs> Some of the labels might say colors and things. I made this at the same time as colors, but this is an SDXL workflow. All right. So you don't really have to worry about much. You can enter your prompt here, let it run, make sure you've got your sampler and uh, everything that you like to have for SDXL. And it's going to make some images. So that covers the auto. Auto meaning it's got this automatic enhancer thing built in. And then basic meaning it is just a basic SDXL. It does have trio, as you can see, one, two, three. And if we look at the first image and then we look at the last image, it is an improvement. All right. But you can see that for yourself. Moving on to SDXL basic V42. So this one doesn't have the automatic prompt. It is the most basic using this system. We're obviously going to make more of these. But it has the same prompt, same seed, and this is what it ends up coming out with. All right. See, if I do it, it's already done it. Would it make a new seed? It shouldn't do. Yeah, same image. So there you go. So very simply, this is just a basic, basic workflow. You've got the seed here. You've got the aspect size here. All right. In fact, that might be the difference. Maybe it's got a different aspect size. But anyway makes good picture and this hasn't been refined or upscaled or anything just your basic output all right next we have trio v40 this is representing a larger workflow a bit like what you might have seen in Foda or coda so we have the same exact system everywhere as all the previous workflows we looked at control net trio ip adapter and sampler garden make a return we also have a face trainer and we have a face swapper. Now this is making the face swap like that. And it's using one of my face models. It's using Tifa V1, which I think I might have trained in a previous video. Who knows? So that's been redrawn with the control net. Obviously I've used the same image for control net many times to try and exaggerate. Control net and IP adapter both running on the same image to exaggerate 
it's easy to identify what it's done this way. If we take a look at the uh, perturbed and um, seen it off versions, still works nicely. So you've got also some different sampler options set up here as well. All right. There is an old school iterative upscaler down the bottom, but in future versions, that's likely to get swapped out for either Aura or a Flux upscaler. But obviously I do it in a separate workflow, so I don't tend to include these now, but there is one here if you want to use it. It does work, so it's a nice, nice upscaler. So that would cover the uh, first trio workflow. So then we've got Zenkai. Now, Zenkai, as I've covered in a previous, is using my uh, prompt lists. So I've currently got it using Cog Video. All right. And that's giving us quite a nice prompt, which is then being uh, auto negatived. So I've got my initials and then it's added some more. All right. It's using the same seed as the generation to drive the auto negative. There we go. Simple stuff. We've done all of this before in previous packs. This is like a sort of re-spin. All right. So here's your trio. There's your Zenkai. All right. Very simple implementation of the Zenkai prompt. And it's producing some really nice photographic images, which I'm quite happy with. For SDXL, these come out really nicely with the trio. Obviously, you can tweak the settings and back it off if you think that's like too much. Sometimes stage two is actually a little bit better, but I do like trio, like I said. So it's an old workflow. So I'm basically remixing it and representing it as this soda pack with trio built in as a feature. All right. So with that, we can move on to the next workflow, which is zero CNET. So that'll be the same, same thing. It's got trio in as a module it's got the face swap it's got the ip adapter it's got control net although the control net on this was a bit challenging because it tends to step on itself when you do it like this and and so what i did was i actually changed it now this is zero auto yeah auto so this is zero auto so what I did was I rebuilt it into um, zero CNET, which is this one. And instead of having them all sort of stepping on each other, what we're doing is we're using a multi-control net stack with crunchy roll nodes. And that way we can set up the, um, the percentage start and ends for each so that XL, that the open pose runs the whole time, control net depth at the beginning, and then canny at the end and then that seems to work a bit better i'm still messing around with crazy sampling so you know you'd probably want to use your own sampler settings but certainly it's sort of getting there um and like i said the exact prompt that we've used here is this which is probably why it's so crazy which is fine you know maybe you want the image to be crazy i don't judge but like i said this is going to be the first offering for the sdxl soda pack so there's going to be obviously future versions where we convert to lines simplify things improve things and so on so i wanted to have a mainline sdxl pack which we could do stuff with so that's the purpose of this and obviously it will get expanded uh look out for updates in the workflows it's probably yeah it's already in there it's already in there so you'll see these updating it's been in there for three days it's just taken me a while to uh catch up with the video releases what with the office move it's more like a house move to be honest when you work from home to move everything to an office the biggest thing was uh when i sleep there's no computer so i have to actually you know get get up here <laughs> And with all of the moving and stuff, it was very, very chaotic. But we're back. So that's pretty much all I've got for you. There's going to be more coming. So uh, watch this space. And that's just about all I've got for you today. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.